Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to mine Raptorethereum using ethermine.org and your MetaMask wallet. Now, if you don't have a MetaMask wallet or you need a wallet to get it set up with, let me go ahead and tell you that you want to watch the previous video that I did called Setup and Configure. MetaMask, it's a beginner's guide, and for those of you that have been running it for a while, I do cover a few frequently asked questions in there, so it may be worth taking a look. But if you want to get started with that video, go ahead and jump into that and then come back here. Now, for those of you that have been mining to Ethermine, you may be mining to the Polygon network already and getting paid out in wrapped Ethereum. And if so, just leave some comments down below and help the rest of us out if you've got any suggestions. We would greatly appreciate it. Now, for everyone else, you may be mining to other pools, something like NiceHash, maybe completely different algos altogether. But let's say you want to get some cryptocurrency like wrapped Ethereum into a DeFi opportunity or into NFTs or anything along those lines. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So we are going to get started. Again, first thing, go ahead and get your MetaMask wallet installed or a wallet that you're comfortable with that will work with Layer 2 networks. So what I'm going to be using today is my MetaMask wallet, and I already have the Polygon mainnet set up. And again, if you want to know how to do that, take a look at my MetaMask video that was already out there. Now when you switch over to Ethermine for the first time, you're going to be presented with this screen right here. And let me just say to start this video, I am going to cut back and forth to uh, a few different browsers that would show what it looks like when you're just getting started. And then also what it looks like when you've been mining for quite some time. So I'll be switching back and forth to give you some different examples here. So just getting started, you'll come over to ethermine.org. And what I want you to do is grab your Ethereum address. And here in MetaMask, I'm just going to copy it to the clipboard. And within ethermine.org, I'm going to paste this in and search for that address. OK, so this is one of the addresses that we set up as an example in my last video. And you can see right here that we have zero workers active, zero of zero. And we can see our unpaid balance, your standard pool information here. Now, what we want to really focus on today is this section over here, the payouts and settings. So here in payouts, I will see everything that's taken place, and I can also get some information on the current payout policy. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at that for ethermine.org. Payout transaction fees to be paid by the miner. So this is another one of the reasons that you may want to switch over to something like the Polygon network for payouts is if you're getting a little bit uh, frustrated with the fees that you see on the Ethereum mainnet. So now we're going to take a quick look at settings since there's nothing to see in our payouts quite yet. And a couple things to go through here. So first up, let's look at our payment method. Come down here and instead of selecting that Ethereum mainnet, we're going to go to the Layer 2 Polygon Matic network. So I'm going to click this box. And it's worth noting that if your balance is above 0.005F, Network transaction fees are paid by the pool. Don't forget to switch MetaMask to the Polygon network and add the WF token to view your payouts. And what they're referring to is in MetaMask, if you're in here looking at your Ethereum mainnet and you're wondering where your mining rewards are, make sure that you switch over to the Polygon mainnet to see them coming in and listed as an asset here. Oftentimes people get excited when they don't see them and they don't switch that network over. And also, if you need to, make sure that you add the WF token. Uh, it may show up as Ethereum here in the assets, but as long as you're on the Polygon mainnet network, you'll see all of your tokens stacking up as you mine them. Now that I have this selected, I'm just going to hit Connect Wallet. And I'm going to connect to my MetaMask wallet. And if you notice right here in my MetaMask wallet, I am now connected to the Ethermine mining website pool. And we are off and running, folks. Now, it's worth uh, mentioning that I don't have an option to change my payout time period here. So let's say for some reason, maybe it's tax purposes, <laughs> I want to stretch this out to a weekly payout or a monthly payout, something like that. I don't have that option, unfortunately, here in Ethermine at the time of recording of this video. But you are paid out daily. And depending on the size of your farm, you have to have reached the balance of above 0.005 Ethereum to get that payout. 
and I just switched over here real quick to show you the dashboard on my current mining farm. So I've got eight workers up, uh, two inactive at the moment. We're doing some maintenance out there. And you can see the rest of my stats right here. Here's all of my payouts, and we're going to switch to settings. Now I'm set up in here with my email address and an IP address, which you can validate if you want to know what your IP is. Just uh, Google Find My IP and it'll show you your public facing IP address and you can drop that in here to validate or again like I showed you you can actually connect your wallet to your uh, MetaMask wallet to get things set up and hit save. Now for some basic payout information here's what you can see uh, and what the farm has been doing right here but this is getting paid out in wrapped Ethereum. Now I wanted to show you another tool real quick just to dive a little bit deeper into this and that is dbank for those of you that may not have used that in the past. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. So if I come over here to dbank.com what this is is you can drop in your Ethereum address and it is going to give you just about every bit of information that you would want on Ethereum mainnet, assets, transactions, layer 2 networks, DeFi, NFTs. This is kind of a global look to get a snapshot of everything that is going on in that wallet address. But we're just setting up our new mining operation to get going with DeFi here in this example so we don't have any assets in here yet. You can also see an NFT tab and a history tab which is really really handy. I actually bookmark uh, this tab so I can see everything that's been coming in and out of payments uh, and just kind of monitor what's going on with my wallet. So this is what it's going to look like if you were to get started and most importantly come down here and switch off the light mode <laughs> and switch it over to dark and what I am going to do is okay now we have switched over to a wallet that I have been mining to and you can see that there are some differences here. We've got some assets, we've got a little bit more information uh, what's going on on different networks. So let's break this all down here. We've got our overall portfolio. So from this tab, looking at your Ethereum address, I can see all of my assets on Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, and any other layer two networks. I can look at NFTs that I've purchased or traded and again the history tab that I was telling you about is right here. Now before I jump into that uh, if you come down here I can look at my assets that I have here on the Ethereum mainnet but if I want to switch over to Polygon I just click on this right here and then you can see I've got a lot of really good information in here on the wrapped Ethereum that I've been mining what it's worth, uh, Quick, Matic, you can see on QuickSwap I've got a liquidity pool mining going on right here with USDC and Binance token and I think I'm going to cover this in an upcoming video so maybe consider that uh, part three in this series the first being MetaMask the second is how to mine to layer two polygon and the third being things that you can do to earn higher interest rates with your mining rewards on those layer two networks so this one is earning between 30 and 40 percent of the mining rewards that I have mined I just converted over to this liquidity pool and it's been really it's been working very well so far and then here you can see so that's the farming that's going on and this is what I have staked so again this is just a really really nice summary now if I wanted to use something like Avalanche which again is not what I'm receiving payouts from from Ethermine I'm getting my payouts in Polygon here but if I was to be using Avalanche or converting funds over I can select that as well but let's come back over here to Polygon and let's take a look at the History tab. So once you've started mining or you've sent some crypto in to your Layer 2, uh, if you click on this History, you can see all of these transactions that have taken place. And this is a decent way to kind of start your day if you're looking at three or four different screens. Maybe you are looking at Hive OS and you're trying to see what's going on. Did I, did I get payments? And all this is doing is going out and looking at the information that is available on the Ethereum blockchain. And you can see these payments that are coming in in wrapped Ethereum. So let's see here, just over 24 hours ago, I received 0 0.0367 wrapped ETH. So probably here in the next 15 minutes or so, hopefully, I'll receive the next payout. Now, if you want to actually see this in your MetaMask wallet, I'm just going to come to the popover up here. And again, I make sure that my network is switched over to the Matic mainnet. And if I click on assets, 
you can see right here I am showing 0 0.257 Ethereum. Now I know this may seem a little bit confusing but this is saying Ethereum we are on the layer 2 Matic Polygon mainnet so this is actually wrapped Ethereum that's showing here. So that's it, not a long video today. I just wanted to get that out and kind of create this series because I am often asked how I do things on the DeFi network or how I do things with certain NFTs or how I earn certain interest rates after I've finished my mining and I wanted to be able to answer those questions today. So hopefully this gets you the next step as kind of a part two in this process. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, Raptors.